Thyroid disease and disorder. Wow, what a plague this is. And thank God on the panel we had last night on electromagnetic radiation, it was brought up briefly, but I'll expound on that now. Why today we've gone from 20%, 25 years ago, of women having thyroid problems in their life, a, a generation ago, 25 years ago, 20% of women had thyroid problems, to 70% of women having thyroid problems now, is cell phones. You take this abnormal frequency and stick it right on your thyroid and brain, and it vibrates the endocrine system. Thyroid is part of the endocrine system. And the more you do that, the higher the incidence of thyroid problems, including thyroid cancer. Low and high thyroid. Hashimoto. And men which were so negligible, I hardly ever saw a man 25 years ago with a thyroid problem. 20% of us have thyroid problems now. Now, yes, it's other deficiencies. So the two nutrients that are absolutely essential, meaning you have to have them, for the thyroid to function are selenium and iodine. Even here where we're holding the conference this year in Long Island, which was a farming community. When my family in the 1920s owned a little cottage here on the water, this was all farms. Boy, they should have held on to that cottage. <laughs> but the reality, quite simple, is we farmed out the iodine. So, in general, iodine in our soil only was near oceans, period. The Midwest, which is called the bread belt, literally never had iodine in it. So, New England, Central, East, California, has been gone for about 150 years. Selenium, about 100 years. And again, selenium and iodine, lack, is going to create weakened thyroid. So when we are helping people who have these problems, or helping you to prevent these problems, you don't have to wait till you have a problem, by the way. Isn't that an interesting thought? How about preventing the problem? We create nutrients, ionic nutrients, not typical iodine, no. Ionic meaning what you would find in a plant, electrically charged iodine, and we give it to people. Dr. Marshall, God bless his soul, he and I, 20 years ago, created a supplement called Pinnacle that prevents degradation of the thyroid. And by the way, if you happen to work in front of computers, you better all do these things, period. If you happen to be nutty and keep using your cell phone in that way and not away from you, you better do these things. And if you happen to live in a city, by the way, that everyone's using cell phones, you may not even own one, you better do these things. Because again, we went from 20% to 70%, almost nothing to 20%. And now I predict in another generation, it will be over 90% of people will have thyroid problems who are female. How about rickets? Rickets is notably a vitamin what deficiency? And what kind of mineral? Calcium. And what we now understand only in the last 10 years is that if you have long-term lack of vitamin D, even if you have adequate calcium in your body, it doesn't work. And if you have adequate calcium in your body and a lack of vitamin D, it doesn't work. The same happens reversing. It's inverse too. Now, where do you get calcium? Well, it can be free. <clears throat> Starts with an A. The Italians and the French eat a lot of it called arugula. And yes, we make the only plant-based calcium supplement I know of on the planet. And yes, you can buy that if you want it to be easy. But by the way, if you're taking a lot of green leafy vegetables, you're going to get all the calcium you need. And we're suggesting that's what you should be eating today. And rickets are still happening worldwide. They found in Japan, as an example, kids who eat high starchy carbohydrates diet, non-nutritive carbohydrates in their teens have this problem. In their teens have this problem. Berry, berry. Another problem they Japanese kids have who are on polished rice, non-nutritive carbohydrates. Berry, berry was why we discovered vitamins. William Fletcher, 
London, England said, we've got to wipe out this catastrophic problem. People were dying by the thousands from beriberi. Discovered vitamin B in food, gave it to them, wiped out beriberi. So do we have a long scientific history of knowing that nutrition reverses disease? Yes. How come your doctors don't know this? There's no money in me telling you to eat food. We're not in the food business, we're in the health business. Oh, excuse me. We're in sustained profit business. Do you follow me? There's nothing to do with health. So now Linus Pauling shows up. Linus Pauling, pretty smart guy. 1968 says every single disease is linked to nutritional deficiency. Amen, end of story. That's like God coming out and saying, everyone should eat plants. Goes back in. <laughs> Linus Pauling. How come we didn't hear him? How come we didn't know about the surgeon Lind in 1747? How come we didn't know about William Fletcher in 1905? How come we don't know we reverse all of these catastrophic diseases? How come we don't know that Hippocrates Health Institute helps people reverse cancer? Helps people reverse multiple sclerosis? Easy things like diabetic type 2. You come to us, do what we say, you will reverse diabetic type 2 condition. Not possibly, not maybe, it's not like it's going to be a chance if you do it. If you do what we say, you will do it. Cardiovascular disease, almost every one of you will reverse. You have to be pretty sick, almost ready to die, not to reverse that one. He said, well, Brian, if this is true, how come everyone doesn't come to you? Because, unfortunately, we tell you to do the work. You don't want to come to us, because we tell you we can't heal you. We're not in the business of magic like medicine and healthcare, including natural medicine and healthcare is. We're not liars. We don't want to lie. We don't have to lie. We say, you have to do it. Nobody wants to do it. Give me a pill. Give me magic. Pretty sad. 